Hey guys. Well, video three. Here we go. Alright, this is a update uh, for my other list for uh, my new mask that I'm making right now. And this is my personal mask that uh, we used on my experience. If you hear burning because of the traffic outside, I'm sorry it comes up. Well, it's because of the car that it ruined the microphone. Okay, um, I got the front of the mask all done. All I have left to do is uh, to make the drape for the back. Um, but it's looking really good so far. Uh, inside of the ears is white fur. It's not left blank. It looks like it's kind of blank from the videos that I've been watching on it. It's not blank. It's actually white on the inside of the ears. I decided to do black for the whole ears. There we go. As you can see, you can, she's got brown and gray and black, white. Red and eyes really make them look alive, don't they? Crazy. Okay, all I have left is the back drape. I think about sewing all of this together and then like putting hooks here or like a zipper or I'm even thinking about experimenting with uh, dang it it's not velcro it's a little dang it bungee like material <sighs> sorry I forget words uh, the stretchy material that is in your waist and your pants sometimes. Uh, but I'm thinking about doing it like that. I got the bottom of the neck all sewn together. It's all sewn. And it's fairly comfortable. The vision isn't as good as my other masks, only because of the resins, but it's not bad. And I can also see it outside my mouth, too. I'm thinking about making a, a rigging out of uh, the stems of uh, shavers to put inside the jaw. So if I want it to, to keep open, like a lot of other furries do, I can put this in and prop it up and keep the jaw open. Yeah, it looks a little bit better. You can see it right there. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well. <laughs> Something by doing that next. There's a get together on the 15th at Cortez Park here in Phoenix uh, from the people who are throwing next year's FurryCon, Furry Convention, at the Phoenix Convention Center. And I'm trying to get all this done so that I can go to it. It's from uh, 10 to 6. She's so cute. I've done a lot of work on this. Got the 
fur hanging. <laughs> and let's see, I also have brand new hand paws that I just finished making. And these were entirely stitched by hand. A couple of hours just stitching. Because what I did is, I don't have a sewing machine, but I stitched it in such a small stitch that the stitching is almost as good as any sewing machine you'll ever come across. They were shaved. I shaved them down. I didn't have a lot of fur, so I only had enough fur to make two short paws. Maybe if I get some more fur, I can attach arm links to it and make them make them arm look, make them arm long. Bleep, 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 bleep. Okay. And I attached black fur for the pads. I didn't want them just plain. And I, I seem to have misplaced some of them. So they look a little crooked. That's okay though. I'm not really worried about it. At least they look good. So that's what I've been doing. This one of these took me at least two days to make because I it's You had to make them fit right, and this one I had to individually cut out each side of the fingers because, I, like I said, I didn't have that much fur. So them together found out that that they were too tight. So I had to cut open the, the middle part, add more fur into it. So I'm sewing in a, a piece of fur for each side. Here, here, here. I'm adding fur to it and had to sew that in. So I eventually got them done. They're done. Yay, they're done. Thank goodness. I don't think I'm going to add any claws. I don't know. Still thinking about it. If I do, then you'll see it in the next video. Okay? Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Oh, okay. Uh, if you have any questions, comments, if you want to rate my video, please do so. Um, I don't hear a lot from a lot of people. I, I kind of feel like I'm talking to nobody out there most of the time. So, if you have a question, I'd be... I will try to more than be happy to answer any questions you guys have. You know, sharing knowledge. And for people who can't really afford to buy a well-made fursuit from like Monoyasha or Beats Cub or, you know, just a lot of, you know, like uh, Clockwork Creations. Oh my god. Clockwork Creations is like epic fursuit stuff. But, if you don't have the money to buy the really wonderful things, then you have to make your own. Or, like in my other two videos I uploaded today, I am currently selling my gray cat and my brown wolf. They need a loving home. I need to buy stuff so I can make another one or get better on the one that I'm making right now. I actually get stuff for it. Alright guys, thanks for dropping by, thanks for watching the video, and as always, thank you for your patience for with me and the really bad burring noise in the background and my roommate's father in the other room acting like a pig and burping and farting and the rudest guest ever. Okay. 
just like burped four times. Five. He's leaving soon. He's leaving soon. Please. Please let him leave soon. For my sanity. Okay. Thank you very much and take care. Have a wonderful holidays. Okay, guys. Thank you. And yes, I know. I'm sorry. My head, the hair is a mess. <laughs> Alright. Take care. Bye.